On top of the world to supersize your business, Sharon horner Elstrom here. And my question for you today is, what about supersizing, growing, and building your business has you feeling positive, elated, on top of the world? What are you excited about, about building and growing your business that has you feeling like anything is possible? Share in the comments below. This idiom, this expression has been around for most of the 20th century. It's been around since at least, and popular since at least the 1920s. But like so many of these idioms lately that we've been covering, or I've been trying to cover, uh, there isn't an exact origination of it. There's not anything that's traced exactly back to where it first was used or first came from. They know it was popular in the 1920s. Suspect it could have come from mountaineering when people climb the mountain and summit, which is something my son's done, which is very cool. Uh, they can see so far in, around the world and it could also have come from the whole flat earth theory where when people are up on higher ground, they could see far away and it made the earth look flat or the world look flat crazy to think that uh, we as humans or human beings used to believe that the earth was flat. Yet there are still flat earthers out there. There are still people that claim that the earth is flat. So I guess we get to choose to believe whatever it is that we want to believe. Well, I personally am on top of the world because my third granddaughter entered the world this morning. I'm thinking around 5, 5.30. And I don't know her name or any details, but I'm super excited to meet her. I saw a picture of her. She looks like her sister in my mind, but it's hard to tell. Uh, I'm curious to see what her parents name her. It's always fun. To, my daughter has struggled with naming puppies and people for a long time. I've never met anyone that does more analysis of names when it comes to naming First her puppy when she was eight, but now uh, her daughters. It's really fun to watch, and it's fun to see how much she commiserates and struggles over the names. So I'm excited to see what they name her. So that's it. That's our idiom for today. Share. Seriously, I want to know what you're most jazzed about when it comes to growing and building and supersizing your business. So often, we're focusing on the challenges, the obstacles, me included, right? That's what I help people do is overcome the challenges and obstacles that they're facing as they grow and supersize their business. So sometimes it recharges my batteries and puts me on top of the world to know how and what you're excited about as you're growing your business. All right, have an awesome day. It's Super Bowl Sunday, so enjoy the Super Bowl if that's something you're into. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom, hopefully where it came from, but what it means for sure and how you could apply it to your business. Have an amazing day. I'll be with you tomorrow.